Hey everyone, what is going on? So today, what are we doing? What today? We're taking a look at a uh, rather exclusive sort of uh, model review. So today's is on the Corgi. Let's get out the little black Corgi one. Uh, one of the one of five thousand distributed worldwide Doctor Who collectors set. I have numbers three three seven eight. And yeah, this was released in two thousand three. I got this a lot later after that it was a see doctor who uh experience a long long time ago and i got it because yeah i liked corgi at the time i had quite a few of their products and yeah so this is a review of it so we'll start with this pack so as you can see each pack fits into the tardis background very nicely and snugly and each one contains some various of figures now we've already reviewed my canine so you don't need to look uh review that again um so i do actually have two corgi, corgi canines let's look at davros so if I move down. Alright, so Davros. Well, first of all, I it's based pretty much I'd say on um Resurrection uh, of the Daleks. So that got that kind of look of it. It's a very Terry Malloy looking Davros. Uh, the hand is very sort of plain, just flat like that. The controls are not accurate at all, but there's a lot like Davros controls, you know, you've got the little buttons and that. Uh, you've got the sort of different coloured area of the side. You've got the jacket and the creasing, uh, the buttons for the sort of leather suit. The head is obviously non-articulated, but looks very much like Davros indeed. If I can get it in the right light. There you go. So yes, it's got very much Dav Davros look to it. And yeah, it's a really nice little model. Um, for the scale, you couldn't really go with 100% accurate, you know, it's not like the big, big figures, uh, the Autons. For a, a size comparison to an Auton, um, yeah, it's quite small, really. Uh, that's my finger. Yeah, as you can t you, you probably get a good sense of the scale of him. And yeah, so that's the Davros. Next, we'll move on to the Cyber Leader. Now, he's on, first of all, a black plaque which uh, makes him stand up right, which my other side man is on, but he's very battered and that's a nostalgia video for another day. We have a gap in his legs, which is very nice, he's not moulded as one piece. Uh, we have all the detail of the creases and the um, wiring on the back. Uh, we've got this thing here, which I'm not too sure what it is, whether it's a cyber bomb or something. I'm not sure, we have the earth shot going, which it's a weird duration of it, because he's holding it like that, where there's no strap either, but I, I, it looks cool. Um, I don't know why, I always saw this is a Five Doctors one. Never, I don't know why, I never saw it as Earthshock, but it is obviously technically Earthshock. Uh, the face is probably the best thing about it. It looks really nice. Uh, very 80s Sideman. Uh, we also have the black detail of the chest, even it is a bit wonky. Uh, we have a bit of paint scratch on there from me, but that's from a bit of play from it. But th this I mainly kept in good nick. Uh, now we've got the little moon boots, so it is Earthshock uh, time. They really don't have the proper metallic sort of laces yet. But yes, it's still a really nice figure. I really do actually like the Cyber Leader. So, yeah, that's those two. So, obviously, there is the canine. I'm not going to get him out because they are a little bit annoying to put back in. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Move on to the second one we have oh. Dark Supreme from Day of the Daleks and Bessie with the Fourth Doctor from Season 18. So, we'll start with the Dalek. Oh, I don't want to break the packaging. But I'm being very, very careful with this Dalek. Because I don't want to break him. Come on. Oh. This is a word of warning with these. Choose whether you're going to keep them in or out of the box. Don't keep swapping. It's not fun. Oh, come on. It's just, I don't want to break his eye. Come on, you bastard. There we go. There we go. He's out. So, here he is. Now, he's, he does actually have articulation. His head can do a 360 degree turn. It's the only time I've ever done this with him. His eye can move up and down like a Dalek should. A bit of articulation in the guns and the plunger, but I think that's just from the way the mould is. I don't think that's intended. But yeah, now the model is... Uh, it's not accurate. They've just painted a, the Dalek model. They had gold. It works well, though. It looks all right. I believe this should be silver, though, um, if I remember rightly. But it looks like a Dalek. It does its little job. Uh, it's, with Davros, it does look pretty nice. And the uh, the Dalek, the Sideman. Uh, let's look at the detail, then. So we have 
the correct number of egg cups here. We have the slats, which uh, I haven't got any detail on. They're just flat, very much remember it's the Daleks-esque. But we do have detail of the actual mesh. Care to examine? Uh, the gun is a very, it's all very sparkly bronze, uh, it's very basic Dalek gun design, nothing too special. And then we have the black uh, sink plunger, I just know the detail of the inner bits, but like I said, you know, it's a smaller model. The eye is actually, the head is pretty accurate actually, um, not really much wrong with it. We've got the neck bins, and then the unmistakable classic Dalek eye. Yeah, I, I think he, he's my favourite figure out of the lot. And finally, we have Bessie. Come on. Oh, come on. I've almost got you. Bingo. Fixed the packing a bit. So, Bessie. Well, this is a very weird iteration of Bessie. Now, if you don't know and you're not a DVD fanatic for the Doctor Who DVD range, you will know, uh, you won't know that this, well, technically this, was released with the three Doctors originally. It was an empty Bessie. This is a Occupied Bessie by a Doctor costume that never really that never occupied Bessie, as far as I can remember, from all the season eighteen. I haven't seen State of Decay or Warriors Gay, but I can't imagine in E Space they used Bessie. Uh, but yeah, so um, the fourth Doctor inside, we get a better look. He was in the TARDIS if you remember from the last time we reviewed a Corgi model, and yeah, uh, the d detail is actually really nice, really like a season eighteen Tom. The colour I think is a bit too dark, but looks really good. Um, it's a bit annoying that he's in Bessie. Yeah, he looked good in the TARDIS, but Bessie, I'm not too sure. They did also release him standing as a normal f uh, figure, like the Sandman. Uh, they released him with Davros, and I did see him at a toy fair, but they were fifteen pounds, and I already had a Davros, so I was I skipped on it. But I'd like to get all the different Corgi models, not all the different color Daleks, but all the different models they did. So we have the Who one, we have the vet Fender, but it's basically Brom. Uh, for who won again, we have the spare wheel, the window glass, which has got some see-through plastic in. You know, I can't actually push my finger through. Uh, we've got all the little bolts at the top. We've got the uh, leather seating with all its linings and lullaby. We even have this gear stick, if you can see in there. Which, yeah, that's really, it's really nice details like that. That really set the Corgi figures off. It's very dusty, this. Hang on, I get a dust. Dusting brush. Uh, that's a small one. Oh, not so big. Hold on. You can maybe get a better look. There you go. So, yeah, very nice little model of Bessie. And yeah, so those are the four figures I've done a review of in their full glory. And yeah, so let's talk about my opinion. So. This set is a really awesome set of figures. It'd be very hard to find. They did have one of these in my local forbidden planet. So if you live in Stoke, then you, yeah, you might be able to get this still. It was thirty pounds. You'd be very battered. But yeah, this set is really, is really cool. Uh, I think there are a few exclusives to it. I believe he is an exclusive. He is. I don't think Davros is. Maybe the K9 obviously isn't. Uh, but yeah, so it's limited. I'm very happy to have this. It's a I don't really have this on display too much because I don't know. I feel like it's isn't it displayed? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's really awesome. I really would uh, recommend getting it. The Corgi models are really cool for classic fans. No new series ones. Yay! Because um, I feel like if they did a new. I remember. Oh, I have to talk about the nostalgia video in that. Uh, but yeah, so we have the Davros figure, the Cyber Leader figure, the Dalek figure, and the Bessie figure. All brilliant, all really well painted. The worst one out of the bunch, I'd have to say, is the Bessie. Ignore the sneeze. Is the Bessie, be plainly because it's so plain where these ones, you know, are really iconic monsters that look really cool. Uh, especially all lined up together like that. Uh, the canine's obviously very cool. If you want to know more about him, check out my, re my little review of the canine and TARDIS. Uh, that should be in the recent videos. Uh, I will, I'll try and link to it, but, you know, promises. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.